Hi and welcome to my Starbound video. This is going to be a small series dedicated to Starbound. The more popular it gets, the more I'll do. It's like a bit of Terraria, but in space. It's an indie game. It's available on Steam. It's quite awesome. I really do like it. So I'm going to create anyone. Um, let's go for the robot. Actually, I don't know. I don't like them. I've been robot too many times. Let's go with one of these and randomise to get some funny. Some awesome. I don't know, all these look a bit awesome. Let's go open it. Uh these look a bit uh anime like. I'm gonna go into that. And go into it. Let's have a look. Find a funny name. Prawn, prawn carer, smile leaf, star water, salty it. Oh, I could have gone with salty it. Fistbert, let's go with Fistbert, the highly, I'm not even going to pronounce that, high luck. Sound is probably rude. Let's begin, I'm on the star sip. I've got to try and drag in my inventory. I'm going to save that to one, and that to two. Three. These are torsives, they're uh, available for lighting up dark caverns, seeds, uh, more seeds, and a good sword. I'm going to put that to two, that to three. I'm moving along a bit. And there we go, my first quest. So now I've got to make a crafting table. So I'm going to go down, walk to the planet. Everything starts randomly generating in this game. I've got no idea what's coming next, so don't ask me. These are the randomly generated monsters, and I'm already on quite a fight already. Crazy chipmunks. Don't know what they look like. They look like squirrels. Chipmunk squirrels. Right, I'm gonna go in here and kill. Oh, it's a village. It's probably well, not the good idea. I'm already starting mass murdering the village in this game. Probably would have been better to make friends with these people. Oh well. Probably a good start. Because now I've got some rope. Some iron. And some pixels. There's quite a lot of things in there. Let's have a look. And this is some coal which is pretty useful in this game. He's gone back to being friendly. It seems. I'm going to sleep in the bed. <laughs> this is the most rudest introduction I've ever done. I don't know how to go back down the stairs. Okay, I can just blow the roof off I suppose. A robot that wears a dress. Very modern. And go back to the sword. Welcome to my store. Actually, I'm going to save, keep these people. Okay. First problem, stairs. Okay, right, go down the stairs. Oh, there's a guard. Nice stick. I think I'm going to keep these people alive because these can actually help me. What are you doing with that weapon? Put it away. Ooh. Okay, the guard's following me. Whatever. It's not gonna go right. That thing's only got one eye. Oh. And there's another one. I want that sword. So I want that sword. Whoa, crossbow? I know it's a bloody rifle. It's got a bloody gun. Did he pull that from his arsehole? Oh god. Oh, okay. Retreat. Practical retreat. It's not a coward way out. It's good to retreat. I'm going to close the door. Because that's good seals. Ah. And Roy lost the first bit. I don't think going on a rampage is the best idea ever. 
And thus the robot was born. Or wherever I am. I'm a three eyed squid. Alright, let's go this way this time. And then try and stock up before. Ah, there's poison, and that was a bloody trap. Ooh, what the hell is that thing? Here's what would happen if Bikini Bottom had a <laughs> nuclear meltdown and this is the end of Squidworth. Okay, come on, rabid squirrel. Ah, my luck. Alright, Fistbert the Third. He came out of the tagpole. In a dress. It's like one of the Japanese kimono things, I think. Oh, what cute. Ah! Not of. Yeah. Okay, run away from that. That's trying to kill me. Can't believe I'm already on my third life. How terrible, this. Okay, let's put it in there. Put that there. Put that there. And get the pixels. So now the sealed bit didn't work. This looks like a bit of a devil. Demon. Yeah, I'm not gonna go down there. Not bloody likely. I need to settle in for the night, really. Can't find any trees. I'll take that with me. Be of use for later on. Up here. Wherever it is, I'm standing well away from it. Oh, it's actually quite nice this time. Being nice to me. It's like the land without trees. And it's starting to get night time. Must be the most unlucky map ever. Still recording on. Yeah, I'm never going to get up there. Uh, let me have a look. I got enough. Not really been digging enough. Oh, now the bats say hi. Well, I can't do anything until I found a tree. So I need to find some trees. And I can get a crafting table. So free eye fish, but can have this crafting. I wonder what it's like to have three eyes. Must be a weird experience. Wow, they've changed. Simple of the mutant catapy. Right, the quest. Oh, there's a tree. But it's right near the people. But they mind me digging down their trees. I can always use this house. I'm just living here. Killed the owner, but oh well. Scottish rights and all. And chopping down the tree at yeah. 0.01 mile an hour. Will he chop? Nobody knows. Need to wear a lumber yak so it will make it jump. Chop dead faster. Rules of lumber gaps. Right, now I should be able to get that crafting table, hopefully. Ah, I need wooden planks. And I can get wooden planks. Let me have a look, see how many I can craft. Craft 21. I need 35, so I'm nearly there. Oh, actually I have um, That seemed a bit weird. Ah, because it was in multiples. Set reward. And now I need to cook some food. I can cook it here, this is amazingly good. I wonder if anyone will buy me using this out. I've got no idea if they will or not, but oh well, I'm taking it anyway. Actually, is there a better property? Let's see. This has got to be the most weirdest house there it's ever. Ok, 
get dropped down. I'm not going to take this because this is actually quite useful. I need to learn the art of dropping down. Ah, space, I've got it. Learn the controls first before you do a recording. I'm going to nick their vegetables while I'm not looking. I'm such a good neighbour. Oh, they can actually sell me stuff. That's pretty good. Everyone can sell me stuff. I love how no. Oh, okay. She remembers me. I was just gonna say I love how nobody remembers me. Yeah? Okay. Mm. Just coming through. Okay, he's got a war hammer. That's quite deadly. And I've just entered the place where everybody's at. Okay. Quickly run away. Ah. Okay. He's got a pointy stick. He's got a massive sword. Okay, I'm just being chased away by pointy things. This is not the greatest experience ever. Uh, okay, nothing to see. Nothing to see. Oh, shit. Uh, dig my way through the roof. Okay, I'm just dead here. Fifth, but the fourth is coming. I wonder if he regenerates. Whoa, actually, I think I made a daring exit. Ah, suckers. Fistbert, it's got your number. Third IC law. Wow, this village is absolutely massive. Even with a fruit and veg store. And chickens. Okay. Right, that's a house for me. Okay, right next to a guard. Okay, so. Take our pointy... Actually, I'm near enough dead. So I'm going to use a bed and sleep. In games, everyone use, lets you use their bed in Void games. remember playing Zelda and stuff like that. And they've got no problems in that letting them use your bed. This one don't, it seems. I'll just wake up and go over the next following morning. This bird. Wow, there's a monster. Wow, okay, this is, okay, you can have a great person I am. Whoa, that thing's out to kill me. Okay, the enemy of my enemy, or whatever it is, is my friend. Oh, okay. And I've lost my pointy stick. That's great. Oh, it's there. Ah, there we go. Alright, let's save the town folk from the monster. I kill a few chickens at the same time. Come on, beat breath. Okay, you're actually stronger than I am, quite a bit. And everyone's gonna attack me because I've just killed that innocent. Ha! Oh well, I would have done it anyway. Alright, just casually using your house in a minute. Don't mind, hopefully. This game's very evil. I need a signpost that says Fistbert's house. And I think that's about it for tonight. And I'm gonna close this first part of the video here with Fistbert. Have a good one, like and subscribe, and have a good night.